Toss it, stir it, crumble, no. Toss it, toss it, make you stir it. Uh. Everybody listen up, listen up, it's now. There's a break news from now. No. It's rich and full level, good for you and me. No. It's rich and full level, very good for you and me. No. Little girls can get some more. I am. Two girls can get some more. I on, I on. Oh, my lady. You know, a well stocked pantry is any home cook's delight. Not so here in the KTQ kitchen. For our contestants, it means terror. They have no idea which combination of ingredients the judges could put together and what they might be asked to make. And trust me, the possibilities are endless. Hello everybody and welcome to No Taste Quest Season 5. My name is Ari Topo and I am your host. Now last week our top 12 contestants were asked to make an omelette. A simple omelette you might say. Not so simple, it sent two contestants home. The remaining 10 contestants had another task. They had to make a meal in one pot using apples and no tomatoes. It didn't go so well, did it? No. The judges were so upset they banished the contestants and asked them to think carefully about why they are in the KTQ kitchen. But they're here today with lots of energy and lots of vigor and they seem ready to kick it today. And I hear you guys have a message for the judges. Yes, we do. Okay then, let me get out of the way. Dear judges, on behalf of my teammates, we want to say thank you for our journey thus far. It's been a great privilege and a great honor to be before you. We know that we haven't done so well up until this point, but we'd like to let you know that we are ready, we are fired up, and we are gingered. We are tossing it, we're spinning it, and we're rolling it, and we're going to give you a great show. And to prove that we're ready for this, sirs, watch this. What is going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. What is going on? You guys had it in you. <laughs> now, judges, you're impressed, aren't you? How are you feeling? Uh, yeah. ah. <laughs> there was some mean shaku shaku going on there, though. <laughs> like shaku shaku ain't gonna shack you all the way to five million. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm. so, Dr. This Roberts. In no, this in no way mm -hmm. influences my view of the contestants, huh. in no way influences how I will judge them. I still feel that they have not come to this kitchen, mm -hmm. my kitchen, the KTQ kitchen, with their A-game. Dancing is not their A-game. But it was cute though, and I appreciated it. I really liked, um, who in particular? Valentine and Desola. You know, giving me the Shaku Shaku vibes. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. Chef Rex. Thank you. But I still have my score pen. Doc, just, Doc, smile small. Just a little bit. Mm. Small. No? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? I tried, guys. Sorry. I tried. So, can we ask what's in store for them today? Because at this point, I'm, I'm afraid. Even I am afraid. I'm going to go right back okay. and rejingle what's in store for them. Really? Yes. Are I you... think, first of all, we need to find out who is going home from wow. last episode. Oh, dear. The question is, who is going home? For Lashade, will it be you? Or Adamu, will it be you? We'll let you know before the test starts next week. All right, so that's happening now. All right, let me get out of your way again. If I call your name, you may go back to your station. 
which means that you are safe to the next round. Dasala. Daphne. Francis. Kamalafe. The rest of you close the gap. Valentine, Love and Bolagbo stand forward. Dear judges, if, if you put me through to the next round, I will give my all, I will give my might, I will give my, my skill, my passion, I will give all that I have on that plate. Love, fire, grace, passion. You will see from now on. ingredients and rich flavor of no that brings people together. This is a supermarket, but different because it's a shop right, which means it's also a butchery with world-class meat cuts, a bakery with your freshly baked favorites, and it has a fruit and veg section with the freshest local produce. But the real difference between a regular supermarket and Africa's biggest supermarket is what we do behind the scenes, like using our massive bulk buying power to negotiate bigger discounts from grocery suppliers and partnering with the best local farmers, all to give you everything you need at the lowest prices under one roof. ShopRite, lower prices you can trust, always. Good pottery requires even and steady control of heat. Can the Neo Chef's subtle yet effective smart inverter function successfully bake a piece of pottery? It's amazing. A perfect dish made possible by the Neo Chef's smart inverter function. Neo Chef. The three of you are our top three from last week. Yes. Valentine had a combined score from both rounds of 63.5, and he was the highest. Hope that I will always impress you. I feel like Dr. Robert, who is hard to be impressed, and uh, Chef Regs, who is experienced in cooking, and whatever you do, you think you've escaped, you always spot it and always catch you. So I always pray that I will always impress them at every point of my cooking. Bolagbo had a combined score of 59.5, and he was the second highest. And Love, a score of 59.125. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you, Chef Fregs. Thank you, Dr. Roberts, for bringing me to the KTQ kitchen. It's been a wonderful experience. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. You may return to your station. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. you guys live to cook again. The three of you step forward. The three of you had the lowest in the last round. I really want to get to the next round. I have a lot to offer. I would um, do my best. I will push hard and push harder. Just don't give up on me. Please give me one more chance to make you right. I'm hoping they do make a favorable decision. 
Adamu, you're safe. You may go back to your station. For last day, you're safe. You may go back to your station. Shashi, you had the lowest in the last round, 27.25 out of 100. Because you're one of our top per people in the first round with 63.75, we'll put you on probation. Which means we will watch you cook this round and determine what to do with you at the end of this round. Thank you. May you turn to your station. Thank you. That being said, the journey continues. Do you have any, maybe, words of advice before today's cooking session starts? I will remind them that it's a competition at the end of the day. Let's find out who can actually be the best. Okay. And from you, Chef Rice? Um, everybody should, while having fun at it, just push themselves creatively and, you know, make sure that the food gets on the plate. Mm, okay. So I'm just going, I, I really like it here, but let me go so that the task can start. All right. All right then. Today is very simple as usual. Every day is, gets simpler it's and simple. simpler because we feel that when it's simple, it's when you actually can show and create yourself the best that you can. True. You have 20 minutes. 20 minutes to make us a starter. You have your ShopRite pantry, your fridge from LG, your freezer from LG, you can use anything from any of these places, but you must use all the ingredients in your basket. From the time we say time starts now, from looking at your basket to finishing, you have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, one starter, you have five minutes left. Five minutes left. Thank you. My own weakness, generally, I think I need to step up my, my game my agility to meet up with time and prepare a good meal. A cream of corn soup with chicken, that was what it was supposed to be. But somehow, I, I, I wanted to wait till the last minute just to, you know, so that the chicken could get done. And before I knew it, the countdown had started. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. One, stand back. Stand back. So in my rush to put everything on the plate, carry it with my hands and just try to pour and burn my fingers, three of my fingers in the process. And everything was just, I don't know.
If we call your name, please come forward. Love. Scramping me. You seem quite unhappy. What happened? I miscalculated. Time. Yes, I did cry because I was too. I think I, I was disappointed in myself. No, can I have a bit of your. Yeah, we'll, we'll taste this together. What's the green stuff in the soup? Um, basil. And there's rosemary inside. I'm not gonna taste your chicken because I can see blood from my own end here. It looks a bit pinky pinky to me and we, yeah. Your soup has very good flavor, but it's death by salt. I know we said it's battle of flavors, but we didn't say battle with salt. I kind of disagree with you on the salt. I think it's just more fiery than salty. And I think the basil works, you know, being such a counter to the you cream. You're trying to be soft because the young lady is crying. No, I'm not trying to be soft because she's crying. She has raw it's, chicken. It's salty. It I, is so, I mean, not if, me. if you woke up in the middle of the night and they gave it to you, you're going to say, where is my bottle of water? No, I was it because, again. No, I'll ask for my bottle of water because I think there's too much pepper inside. So, too much salt, too much pepper, and maybe the basil was meant to kind of counteract both but of I, them. But I, but, but I would, I, 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 but it's, if the pepper had reduced, I really, really, really like that. If, uh, I, if I would have, should have. I could have, would have, should have. Thank right. you. Thanks. Can you tell us what you have done and how you have used all your ingredients? Um, it's a creamy sweet potato plantain and sweet corn mash. Okay. I put a bit of the cooking cream in there. Then I lightly pan fried um, the chicken wings. Thank you. Yeah, this is issue. Yes, I mean. uh, So Daphne, what have yes, you done sir. for us here? Um, plantain pepper soup and just um, potato veggies. Thank you. As the raw plantain. <sighs> what have you done here for us, Adamo? Well, um, the filling, aside from the lettuce, the green pepper and the what, what onion. Is, what is this meant to be? Well, it's meant to be, you already have meat, so something a bit more fun. A bit more fun. Thank you. Mister, I caught myself. What have you got here for us, sir? Um, Doc, I have a simple starter for you. Um, <laughs> I have like a mashed good. potato yam with my corn, which I, I, I turn into, I turn in an egg wash, uh, seasoned with my knorr chicken. My chicken was seasoned as well with salt and knorr chicken. Then I fried my chicken with my rosemary. My Tomatoes, I used to make a sauce, a kind of a creamy sauce, which I also added a little bit of uh, lime. And I, because protein works well with uh, lime, mm. I use lime on my chicken as well. Thank you. How do we eat this with a spoon? You're supposed to eat it as a finger food. Oh, as I see, finger as a finger food. food. Yes, so sir. You dip, I take my, my No, you, di you pick the chicken and you dip into the. Yeah. Like that, right? Yes, sir. Very tasty. Thank, Thank you. you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. If I recall, you're making us a Caesar salad? Yeah, it's supposed to be composed, com uh, totally finely composed. What dressing did you make for your salad? Yeah, it's supposed to come with a potato uh, soup. Thank you. What have we here? I have um, chicken in um, plantain creamy sauce. Okay. And um, um, sweet potatoes, cinnamon sweet potatoes. Thank you. Damn. How does this Ooh. all tie together as the one starter? Wow. Did you, did you like that? It tastes like spicy oatmeal, actually. Oh, what? You don't like oatmeal? I don't like that. It actually tastes like spicy oatmeal. Have you ever had spicy oatmeal before? 
Thank you. Thank you. What have you made for us? Thank you, Chef. Um, so, I, with the chicken wings, I um, made a lollipop and I, um, and I marinated it and fried it. Then, um, with, the, um, with the sweet potato, I uh, tried to make some... Sort of like, what did you eventually end up achieving? Um, it's like I made a batter out of it and fried. So, I used eggs and I used milk and um, I, I fried it then with the balsamic vinegar, the corn, the um, unripe plantain and tomatoes. I made a sauce There's from it. There's eggs in this, right? Yes, sir. Milk? Yes, sir. It's like a pancake almost. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hello, judges. Hi, Miss Aaron. How are you? I'm fine. Can you give me an idea of anybody who's making you happy? Nobody. Nobody. But, but Doc, I, at this point, I have to ask, can anybody really make you happy? Apart from Chef Riggs, maybe, and me. I this is four you, seasons. I I, I, I've had people that made me happy in every single one of them. Not ah, like not, this. Not this bunch. No. Oh, well. OK, one last question. One last one. How did Shashi do? Shashi deserves to be at the bottom. That's why he's at the bottom. All right, so this is the point where I exit gracefully. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Iron deficiency in children is often overlooked. It affects their health and well-being. Did you know that 72% of children in Nigeria under the age of five suffer from some form of anemia or iron deficiency? Knorr Taste Quest and the Knorr force for good, need you as we fight anemia in children. Today, we cooked with two iron-rich ingredients, liver and spinach, also called green in the market, both readily available. We need your fight. We need you to join this initiative. We will continue to cook with iron-rich ingredients. I hope that we will get something better for your next round. You have 40 minutes to cook us a main course. Remember, only what's on your plate will be judged. And 40 minutes is 40 minutes. And your time starts now. How's it going? It's going good. You didn't have a great first I didn't test. at all. I know. But wow. how did that feel? I mean, you started out one of the top last week. Then Horrible. I know. So what are you going to do this, this second task I'm now? I'm doing a chicken and liver sauce mm. with lemon rice. Lemon rice? Yes. That's very interesting. Bye-bye. You did start today on a good note. They said you were one of the bottom from last week. Yes, I was. So how are you moving that I'm in? pushing myself this time around. Okay. I don't want to be bottom anymore. Okay. I want to impress the judges as much as I can. Okay. Do you have a, a dish idea? Yes. What are you making? I'm making um, a liver gravy sauce. Okay. With um, mashed potatoes. Okay. Herb mashed potatoes and um, cream um, spinach. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mm. You did pretty good yeah, last yeah. last session or yeah. last task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then the judges were now not impressed. Mm. They said you had looks but not flavor. But no flavor. So this time around, I'm trying to get flavor okay. out of this. Okay. And uh, I hope to change my whatever impression I gave them the last time. So how are you going to do that? I can see you have some lamb. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a steak. I'm going to do a mash. Potato okay. with steak. Okay. Then I'm gonna make a, a soup, a kind of soup. Okay. To go along with uh, with the mashed potatoes. Okay. So where does your liver come into it? Yeah. The, the liver. Oh, you can see they already steak. cooked. Okay. Yeah, you can see the liver they already cooked. Okay. It's gonna come in as a. I'm gonna mince it. Okay. Mince it, guys. I'm gonna slice it tiny, tiny. All right. It's gonna come in mm -hmm. alongside. 
with the soup. Oh, I see. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Tasola. Hi. How's it going? Well, for now. So, you're killing it. The judges are loving what you're doing. How's that making you feel? Um, good, I guess. Hopefully, it turns out well. Okay, careful. Do you know what you're making? Um, yes, um, I'm making um, parsley potatoes with creamy spinach okay. and pan fried liver and a little herby tea sauce infused with lifting tea. So, herby tea sauce, pan fried liver, yes. parsley potatoes, yes. what's the third thing? Um, creamy spinach. Cream spinach. Yes. Now, that's a lot of elements on your dish. How are you going to make sure that they work together? Um, I'm not going to put too much flavor in anything, and I'm using the same kind of herbs in everything for so all my. So that is cohesive. Yes, it's cohesive. Sounds good. Right. Now you're also using yam and potato. Why? Um, if the case one doesn't turn out, well, I'll just pick out the yam. Okay. Or I can just do both. So <laughs> <laughs> there's a strategy happening here. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Sure. You have 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left. Thank you. What are you going to change with this cook? Well, this I will make more spicy. Okay. The last, the complaint was there was not enough spice. Okay. And it wasn't really done. Okay. But the good thing about liver is it doesn't really need to be on the fire too long. Okay. It just needs a bit of heat. Okay. And I marinated it before I put it on. So this, this, it was, you marinated this before? Yes. Okay. So um, as it is, it's spiced up. Okay. Already. So okay. all it needs to do is just go on. Okay. With the vegetables and when you're making the yeah. when you're tossing them. Yeah. Fantastic. Alright, okay. For well, your confidence, you're cool? Yes, I am. Alright, okay. Great. Enjoy. Thank you. So can you give me an idea of your dish? Yeah, um saute de liver. Okay. Bacon potatoes. I'm going to, the yeah. Okay. What I'm going to have a paste served with it. I'm going to have a paste okay. served with it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to garnish with some vegetables. A paste. Yeah. So is your liver good to go? Yeah, my liver is. Okay. So all you're just going to do is put in all your other elements. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm good. All right. You you seem happy. Are you good for time? I think so. I'm just waiting for ten minutes and I start plating. Then you start plating. That's that's actually a great plan. Yeah, is this a good time to tell me about your dish? Yeah, I'm trying to make a little on display. Okay. Yes. Careful. Yeah. No you know what? Yes, I'm just going to. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you seem you seem worked up. It's okay. Yeah. It's alright. <laughs> so yeah. what's in this? Okay, so we have um, liver and then we have peppers and tomatoes. Okay. And then the spinach. So just the livers, the peppers, the tomatoes, onion, and spinach, and then we have some of the spices: ground cinnamon, nutmeg, thyme, and of course pepper. Okay. Now, cinnamon is a very interesting addition for something like the liver. It gives it a whole different flavor. So okay. you know, it's something I like. I tasted it and then it tasted really good. So, so I hope the judges will like it, it too. Yes. Hmm. Sir. Okay, I wish I could taste some of it. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want to mess up your plating. Mm -hmm. So after this, you're done. Yes, I'm just gonna put. But you're making a salsa. Yes, I am. Okay, what's going into the salsa? An avocado yeah. salsa. And what's going into that? Uh, some lettuce, avocados, tomatoes. Okay. Uh, onions. Okay. Then I'll put the vinegar in it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right then. Thank wish you. you the best. Lemon you you, you and seem lime. you seem in control. You, like everything is going as it's supposed to. All to the glory of God. I'm happy. I'm Thank happy. You. Well done. Keep it up. Hmm. There's so many interesting things going on in the kitchen. I think the thing that is clearest for me is that everybody's doing their best to push themselves, and I'm seeing such a variety of dishes and ideas and concepts. I'm also seeing some things that are making me think. How is this going to translate when it's time to taste? You know what they say though, the taste of the pudding, or in this case, the taste of the liver, is in the eating. Let's hear what the judges think of our dishes.
iron rich ingredients, spinach and liver. You have five minutes left. Five minutes left. Thank you. I've learned how to multitask so I can work faster and better. And that's how I intend to overcome my challenges. I incorporate all my ingredients at once. All the things that need to be cooked, I cook them once and for all. All the things that need to be fried, I fry them once and for all. All the things that need to be baked, I bake them once and for all. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, stand back. Thank you. I've been looking at you from across the way And I think about you almost every day Now I think that I must have a crush on you I hope that you feel it too It's the natural ingredients and rich flavor of no that brings people together. Shola, Shola, come and help me. You need to learn. But I'm more interested in drawing. How are you going to be part of the business if you don't learn? You just don't understand. Morning. Anyone for some Lipton? The rich taste of Lipton awakens body and mind. Let me have a look at your drawings. Son, these designs are amazing! Lipton Yellow Label Tea. Awaken to what really matters. The tastiest blue done with vitamins A, D, E, B6, B12, folic acid and niacin. So important for kids' growth and development. can tell they're from a blue band home. Spread every slice and give your kids the vitamins they need. Oh, see how oily I am. It'll take forever to clean this. Take it easy, Pan. Your days of endless scrubbing are over. Madame just bought sunlight dishwashing liquid. What do you know about a Pan's life? This advanced formulation has real lemon juice that'll cut through all those stains fast in just one wipe. Wow, that was fast. See how easy it is to remove oil in one wipe? Sunlight dishwashing liquid removes oil stains in just one wipe. Lashley. Gorgeous. What did you made for us, Lashley? I made um, liver gravy sauce and um, mashed potatoes with um, creamed spinach and some sauteed peppers. I didn't think you needed the peppers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Francis, what have you made for us? Mashed yam mm -hmm. with steak and uh, potato soup done uh, with liver and uh, the spinach. Thank you. Thank you. What have you done for us here? Baked potatoes with cheese and then um, sauced liver. Uh, what liver? Sauced liver. Sauced liver. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. What did you how did you cook your lemon rice? Um, I added lemon zest and the lemon juice at the end of... Did you, did you think that you could have maybe sauteed your rice with some onion, introduce some seasoning that will work okay. with the lemon instead of you just tasting like lemon, you know what I mean? Thank you. All right. What have you done? 
Um, I sauteed the liver inside bell peppers. I baked the potatoes okay. in, with lemon juice and okay. deviled egg. Deviled egg. Yes, sir. And what's this at the bottom? That's cheese, sir. Piece of cheese. Yes. And what's this at the side? Your That's, spinach? Yes, sir. Excellent. Are you cut up just like that? This is your spinach? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, we'll see, let, let me start by saying A for effort, but then it, it may not go beyond that. <laughs> Jehovah, <laughs> can you tell someone that? <laughs> mm. Did you plantain inside? Yes, I did. Was it raw? No, it was fried. Well, what did you use to season it as well? What did I use to say? Well, what's, in, what's in it? I used the uh, black pepper, I used the, uh, no, chicken, oh, mm -hmm. salt. No, there's something else in there. There's something sweet. He used vanilla essence. It's, it's probably the plant thing. The plant thing. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. What have you done here, sir? I made steamed potatoes with spinach. And, okay. Use this Google to search for the spinach. Where's the spinach? Probably a few shards. A few shards of spinach. Okay. And sautéed um, liver strip. All right, thank you. Walakbo. Thank you, chef. What have you done for us, Walakbo? Well, I've for blood, though. I've made a um, knorn I just styled gnocchi and a pasta sauce with my um, liver and Have the you pepper pepper. You seen tomato, um, tomato puree in this? I wanted to use um, um, plum, but I, did, I, I thought what I took was plum. I opened and poured it in before you I realized it You poured everything was. in? Wow. Thank you. I tried to flavor it. Thank you. Valentine. What's this? It's a uh, liver. Liver. Is that regular? Uh huh. It's at least it's cooked. Now what? Uh, hey, did you boil it? No. Hmm. Is this like some sort of porridge thing you're going for? Um, I made a potato with juice and a bottle of flavors. <laughs> 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 say that again. Uh, say it out loud. Say it to your chest. Potato wedges on a bottle of flavors. All right. Fantastic. You know something? Let's give him out of our. Yeah. Let's we'll give you five M. Well done. Well done. Thank you Good very flavors. much. Lesson, please tell us what you have made for us. Um, I made um, creamy spinach, um, parsley, yam, and potatoes, uh, and sautéed liver with, um, and I tossed that in um, Lipton tea infused sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Why do I always come when you people have finished eating? <laughs> Is this really the way forward, Doctor Roberts? Uh, you're still not smiling. Mm -mm. But, Doc, before you go on, but one thing we did see, we saw people who stayed true to themselves mm. and who just made delicious food at the end of the day. I still kind of thought outside the box. Okay. So, it, 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 I think Doc is having mixed feelings at the moment. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not happy. Okay, but are you happier? No. You're happier. Ah. Doc. You're happier, Doc, at least. Try now and be happy small. Thank you very much for Thank your you time. Thank you very much. Do you think you have what it takes to be a judge on North Taste Quest? Well, now you have your chance with the viewer's choice dish of the day. All you have to do is choose the picture that looks the best to you. Send KTQ and the name of your chosen contestant to 34461. For example, KTQ Ada to 34461. This service is open to 9 Mobile and MTN subscribers only. Now the contestant with the most votes wins the prize for viewer's choice dish of the day, so you need to hurry up and vote. 
If I call your name, it means that you are safe and you may return to your station. Folashade? Francis? Daphne? Busui? Bolagbo? Dasola? The rest of you can come one step forward. Valentine. You can go back to your station with the joy in your heart because you are best today. With a clear cut 65 points, you did excellent today. Love, Shashi, and Adamu. Well, if I leave today, would I say I came and saw and conquered? Maybe not necessarily, but I have come a pretty long way from where it all began. So I would say something good came out of it. Adamo, unfortunately, your journey ends here. You're going home. Sorry. How do I feel about leaving? Well, kind of sad and at the same time, I'm kind of happy I got to experience this. So it's a 50-50 kind of feeling. Shashi, you may go back to your station. Love, unfinished food soup in one plate, chicken in the other, a difficult second round. If I live today, I can't say I came, I saw, and I conquered. I mean, I did not conquer. So anyway, I'm not living today. Fortunately, you're safe. Let me go back to your station. You. you have 15 minutes to make the best dessert you have ever made. Your compulsory use ingredients are on the table in front of you. Walnuts, apples, pears, crackers, ground nuts, vanilla. You have 15 minutes and your time starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, you have two minutes left. Two minutes left. Thank you. Good ingredients. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand back. Thank you. Francis. So what have you made for us? All right, sir. Okay, all right, sir. Apple fritters. Okay. Uh, blended walnuts, groundnuts, uh, chocolate, biscuits, a touch of uh, no to give it a, a kind of kind of taste, a kind of flavor. So the paste there is to. It's a dip. It's a dip. The yeah, the ca kind of, kind of, kind of too. Thank you. 
what, what were you trying to do? Um, I actually wanted caramelized apples and um, pear, and then I was trying to whip the cream. It wasn't coming out the way I wanted because I wanted to put it aside and then the chocolate. And what's the, the brown thing? It's the chocolates with the walnut and the granite. Okay. I blended it and then uh, I mixed how did, it How did you use your crackers? I just squashed it on top, just, just like I was supposed to have it. Thank you. Thank you. What have you done for us here, love? Um, salted caramel, then there's a ganache there. So um, the cream is in both of them. Okay. And then the apple and the pears, I um, sorted them. And then in your some peanuts? Of the, yes, in the salted caramel. I mixed it separately in under salted caramel. And then the, the, the no, crackers? It's, it's a crumble. It's the, just cr cr How did you make your salsa caramel? Um, um, white sugar, mm -hmm. then I added butter, mm -hmm. then when, when the sugar melted, I added butter, then the cream, mm -hmm. and then a little bit of no and salt. Okay, it's good, but um, we didn't put, probably put enough cream because for it to go this hard. It's quickly. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. A cookie. Okay. What is this? A walnut fruit cake with chocolate nutty swirl. Well. And, and, and where, how did you chocolate use chocolate nutty swirl? Well? Yeah. And what do you do with your your apple? I crush them. They're inside with the pear. Interesting. Yeah, it's really like. So what happened to you in round one and round two? Exactly. I guess I was nervous. It's bitter, it's sweet, it's salty, it's fluffy. The, the right balance of everything. I mean, I want maybe a tad, just a tiny bit more sugar, but this is like a good one bite. Wow. This is the first thing I've eaten From all you. season. Yeah. From anybody that I say tastes very good. And that's different thinking. Thank you. Thank you. See you sometime today, sometime this month. Is this a smiley face? What have you done here, Busi? It feels like one apple is even winking at me. I don't even know. <laughs> okay. I saw that the apples would no? oh, This is a this epic is a, disaster. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. It was, I mean, come uh -uh. on, come on. So what have you done for us here? It's okay, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, um, for the, um, the, what, what is this? Looks like cookie dough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cookie dough of some sort, chef. A raw I, cookie dough? No, no, it's not raw. I use the walnut, peanut, like a peanut butter, um, Mm. This is another epic fail. Mm -mm. I look you disagree. It's a fail, not epic. Hey, hallelujah. It looks like puke. Yeah. But it's just that I, we have to taste it and we have to judge it. But the problem is I've judged it before I taste it. So Oof. don't it's judge hard. it. <laughs> Yours is hard. It's, no, it's hard to taste it my <laughs> Oh God. Okay, but I'll do. I'll take. I'll do this for the team. Close your eyes. There you go. Mm. Thank you. No shout out to you for that cookie. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Your chest, Abby. All right. What What do you have for us here? Um, it's poached um apple and pear okay. with um salty chocolate sauce and somewhat mm. of a brittle made with the walnut. I think I made a mistake by giving them chocolate. Mm. Have you noticed how I haven't said anything? Yes, sir. That's because I enjoyed it. Oh, you. you know, there's some bias going on here. There's no bias. There's no bias. The pears are poached well. The saltiness, the nuts, she actually the first person who worked with that walnut and brought balance. It's bitter, it's salty, it's sweet. It's overly bitter, it's a dessert. It's not overly bitter, in my opinion. It's overly bitter, it's a dessert. The peanut brittle 
is excellent, but that's the only thing. Thank you. Hey, God. Okay. What have you made? Um, I made poached apples and um, a creamy pear sauce with um, walnut truffles, chocolate truffles. But coming from where you have come from, this is a, a big jump in the right direction. Yeah, that cream sauce on there is... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on getting yourself this far. Three intense rounds, one gone. Who is next? Any words for them, sir? I'd like to congratulate you on your effort. But we, I don't think we've seen a type of effort. We saw maybe C to a B plus today, but it would be nice if we saw A. Bolabo, with 62.15, points, you are highest overall today. Congratulations. You may go back to your station. Valentine, you are second. You may go back to your station. Dasola, you pushed yourself in the last round and you're third at 59.315. Falashade, 55.48, you may go back to your station. Busui, 51.25, may go back to your station. Love, Daphne, and Francis, you are our bottom three today. Shash is on probation and falls in the bottom four, so you will join them. You had 50.15 points. I believe all of you have a notepad on your table. Those of you who are left there. Of these four people, you can all vote to save one person. Are you all ready? My task today has really not been good. I do not hope to leave today. I'll count myself lucky, I'll count myself blessed to actually have gotten this far because over 3,000 maybe people auditioned and then here I am seated as, you know, the top 10. So I feel like a winner already. I am a winner already. So hopefully I'm not leaving today. Shashi and Daphne, you both have two votes. Love, you have one vote. Shashi and Daphne, you are safe. You may return to your station. From Francis and Love, whoever has the lowest score, I believe I called your scores out, will be exiting. I've been looking at you from across the way And I think about you almost every day Now I think that I must have a crush on you I hope that you feel it too the natural ingredients and rich flavor of Noor that brings people together. So, how was it? They loved it, Mom. Like Chevrolet, find new roads. This is a supermarket, but different because it's a shop right. 
which means it's also a butchery with world-class meat cuts, a bakery with your freshly baked favorites, and it has a fruit and veg section with the freshest local produce. But the real difference between a regular supermarket and Africa's biggest supermarket is what we do behind the scenes, like using our massive bulk buying power to negotiate bigger discounts from grocery suppliers and partnering with the best local farmers, all to give you everything you need at the lowest prices under one roof. ShopRite, lower prices you can trust, always. Easy to find and access your favorites without opening the door. Hi. Not twice. See inside LG InstaView door and door. From Francis and Love, whoever has the lowest score, I believe I called your scores out, will be exiting. Love, unfortunately, your journey ends here. Thank you very much. I have just been evicted. Of course, I feel bad. I came for the prize. I didn't get the prize. That's fine. Fancy me return to your station. It's almost time for us to go, but first, I have to give you our home play question of the day. Don't forget that this is your chance to be a part of Norte's Quest Contest. Now, today's question is another really easy one. It's simply this. What were the two iron-rich ingredients we used in today's episode? Good for you and me. It's rich and Very good for you. And don't forget, the first 20 entries get a prize. Now, let's talk battle strategy. Every general who goes into battle knows that the first thing they have to do is pull together different individual factors and craft them together into a cohesive and in this case very delicious unit. Our contestants learn this, some of them the hard way. They learn that more is not always better and that creativity must always be followed by technique. Because remember, for 5 million Naira cash, a brand new Chevrolet, shopping vouchers from ShopRite and kitchen equipment from LG, they had better be the best generals this battle has ever seen. We have to ask now, what will the judges have in store next week? What should we look forward to? Or should the question be, what should we dread? Well, you have to tune in to find out. That's our show for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, I